Hi friends, how are you? I've missed you so much. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, as many of you know, we started summer camp um, at some of our rec centers and I'm the director of our camp at Camp Lazelle. So I've been pretty busy with that, but I wanted to make a quick video um, and show you one of the cool things that we made this week. Our theme is green time over screen time. And so we decided to make a nature uh, journal. And um, one of the cool things that you can do, you can make this for a nature journal, you can make it as any type of keepsake journal, but it's so easy to make. And all you're gonna need, you're gonna need three paper lunch bags. You're gonna need just some squares of paper, glue sticks, and a hole punch, and then a pair of scissors and either some ribbon or some string. I've got some ribbon here um, that we're gonna use. So let's get to it, so simple. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by taking our glue stick and we're gonna glue the flap down on each of our paper bags. Okie doke. So, so simple. I'm just gonna glue that down just like that. So now it's just nice and flat. It doesn't open up and flap like that, okay? Like it normally does. So I'm gonna do to all three of my paper bags. Got that, one, two, last one, three. So I've got the three flaps glued down on my paper bags. Then I'm gonna take square of paper, I'm gonna glue it over the top part of that flap so it kinda covers it up, okay? So simple, using my glue stick again. You could probably use like uh, bottle glue, but sometimes bottle glue gets kinda lumpy and bumpy. And we want this kind of smooth or smoother so that we can write on it if we want because it's gonna become the pages of our journal. So there's number two. I've got one more to do here. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There are my three paper bags with the flaps glued down and the pieces of paper Glued on top, uh-oh, one came loose. I gotta glue that a little bit better. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so now, here's the fun part. So simple. I'm gonna stack my paper bags in a certain way. I'm gonna have yellow paper on one side, and then on the other side, reverse it, then reverse it again. So, I've got Paper, paper, paper. Okie doke, kind of like a sandwich, all right? Then I'm gonna fold these all in half, like a book. Ooh, it's really thick, really thick, but I get a nice little crease in there, all right? So I just fold it in half so you can kind of see. Do you see how the journal's taking shape? So simple. Now, here's the big thing. Unless you are the strongest person in the whole wide world, I don't know if you could get a hole punch through all of these pieces of paper, or paper bags. So what I do is after I folded them, I take them apart, fold one of them, get my hole punch in there, and I do one hole punch. And I'm just gonna do two punches. I'm gonna do one on one end. Ooh and one on the other. You might need a grown up for this because this is some strong business here. You need some strong hands. So one on each end, just like that. See? Now, to make sure that they line up, I'm gonna take my next paper bag, fold it inside of there. I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna make a little dot, boom and boom, where my hole punches were. So then when I take this apart, <gasps> I know where my hole punches go. So they'll line up eventually, okay? So I'm gonna take, make my little hole punches here. Again, one. Ooh, Miss Suzanne needs to start working out. My hands are weak. <laughs> I need to start making some more Play-Doh. Two, there we go. And then I can line them up. And then we have one more to do. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna line it up and make a little dot on each side with my marker so I can make a hole punch. Let's see here. 
There's my knot. One and two. Just like that, I've got them folded in half. I'm gonna make my hole punches again. One and two. There we go. All right, so remember how it goes? We've got yellow on one side, yellow on the other. So they're opposites. Okie doke. So here's my little journal. Now, obviously, we gotta find a way to keep them all together. And like I said, this is so thick. Some of the things that I saw, some of the instructions suggested that you staple it. I don't know if there's a stapler that's, that would go through these super thick paper bags. If you had thinner paper bags, you probably could. So I'm gonna use a ribbon. I'm just gonna take a really long ribbon here and I'm gonna cut it in half. Cause we just need to about, I don't know, maybe like a foot long, 12 inches long ribbon. So there's one and I'm gonna weave it through all of the holes on one side of my book here. So you can see, I'll hold this up, love bugs. So you can see I've taken it through one, two, three, and now I need to take it through the other side. One, two, and three. Kinda, it's kind of like sewing, kind of like lacing here. So you can see I brought it all the way through and then you can just tie it up, boom, nice and tight. Make a little bow if you want. Or you can tie it in a knot and trim it, however you wanna do, but then we need to do the other side too, okay? So let's weave through this real quick. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. I got it, do I got it? I got it, here we go. Just got a little cut there. Here we go, just like that. We'll tighten it up. Tie my little bow. And voila, there's your book. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now let me tell you what's so cool about this. I have one already made and I labeled the front. Suzanne's Nature Journal. So what's so cool about this, friends, is you, when you go out and you're exploring on your walks or you're heading out to collect things for nature, what's so great about this is you can use the little pockets to collect things. like leaves or seeds or all kinds of things. So many fun things in nature. And then you can use the brown parts to draw or to write. You can write down where you collected your leaves, where you found your, um, your uh, nature collection and put it right on the brown paper bag. Now what's cool is obviously we use this as a nature bag, you could do this for anything. You could do this for vacation time. If you're going someplace special and you're collecting tickets or you have pictures that you've taken or um, seashells, something flat that can go right in there. Boom, so fun and so easy. These are all things we have laying around the house. Um, so wonderful. So if you guys make these, you know I wanna see them. So either send them back in the email to me, you guys know my email address at the rec center, or if um, you can tag me at the bottom of the video, if, this, if you found this on YouTube, or if this is posted on the um, uh, CRPD's website, um, tag us on Instagram or Facebook, show us what you made. I miss you so much. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're all having a wonderful warm summer. You're wearing your sunscreen. I can tell by this video, I'm already super brown just from one week of camp. So make sure you get your sunscreen on your faces to, to make sure that you're being safe kind, respectful, responsible, and kiss your brains, hug your hearts. I love you, friends. See you later.